Hey everybody, it's David Chinelli. And Julia Blinsky. We're realtors with Royal the Page Signature. And we're with our segment, Ask Julia. All right, Julia, so buyer consultation, buyer appointments, or consultation we call them. Uh, we usually do before you want to go shopping for a property. Mm -hmm. What are they and why are they important? So first of all, they are very important because it just gives you the whole rundown of what happens before you buy a property, the process of buying a property, and after buying a property. So we go into full detail of what it's like, um, and we you know, give you information on everything, so you, you're not surprised when stuff happens. Yeah, like so whether you bought a property last year, or 15, or 100 years ago, whatever it was, you know, things obviously they change. The market changes, uh, you know, the mortgage rules change, everything kind of changes. So it's always, even if you bought a property last year, it's a good idea to do a refresh. When I was start buying properties, uh, there wasn't this double line transfer tax, which we have now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's one of the things we talk about. It's one of the expenses, it's huge. What we do is we talk about all these kind of things. It might take a little 45 minutes to an hour to kind of go through this, but we want to make sure you're going to enjoy the experience and you're only going to enjoy the whole buying experiences if you have the information. Exactly. If you're going into it blind, Sided and you don't know the prices of other homes in the area or you know you don't know what you should be putting in or how the market ha is even acting like then mm -hmm. you will hate your buying experience and it's yeah, you'll get frustrated right you're yeah, like just well this property is listed for 99 and now like what do you mean there's an offer date I'm like that's what's happening like well depending on where things are priced you might have an offer date what does that mean well that means you're competing against other people yeah. that means they were going to want to have as clean as an offer what does clean offer mean that means they want you to have no conditions what is no conditions what kind of conditions are in there so we talk about what kind of conditions go into like a condo as opposed to a freehold mm -hmm. different right like there are certain conditions we put into a freehold property as we put into a condo mm -hmm. what are those conditions well what happens if you don't fulfill those conditions like then you get your money back but what happens if you go and clean what are the risks behind that mm -hmm. um, if you do get the property, we'll come to agreement. When is your deposit due? Who is the deposit? Made out to. Yeah, made out to. How much is the deposit? Exactly. That's a big one too. Yeah. Okay, and then, so that's, for example, that needs to be liquid in your bank account, 24 hours, 5%. We talk about that in most areas. Line transfer tax, what is that? When is that due? Why appraisals. is it more? Oh, appraisal is a appraisals, big one too. Yeah. What happens if your property doesn't appraise out? What is an appraisal? Mm -hmm. So. Again, we're just kind of giving you topics of what to do. There's a lot that happens with a whole purchase that I wish somebody would have sat down and talked to me about this before. I could have enjoyed the whole process of that without having to do this. And instead of getting frustrated, there was a lot of frustration after we bought our, when I, when I bought our property that I wish just wish I would have known some of the details. Yeah, some like, you know, a really good thing that we do when we do a buyer's presentation is we have a booklet. And at the end of the booklet, it has all of the, um, contracts set out in blank format and we have it highlighted of what's important what you should read, read through before you even sign anything with a real estate agent mm -hmm. so definitely you know yeah. and that should also be a red flag to you guys if if somebody's having a consultation with you and they're like they're making you sign a buyer representation agreement without even having to work with somebody right away or other than talk to you I don't know for me that's a red flag I just recently had a client in which you know they had signed before the guy even met with them, had to sign a six month contract, which is a long time. Usually they're about three months. And they had never worked and they weren't happy with them. It was, it was a pain in the ass to get them out. Anyway, I I, I always say to, the, to our team, I say, you want to work with somebody making sure they want to work with you, but you also want to give them all the information before you ask them to sign. These poor, this poor couple had to sign something without even reading it. And that, to me, that just doesn't make sense. It's not, not fair too, it's not fair. Right? Yeah. Anyway, we can talk all of this. But anyway, if you want to know a little bit more about what we do in our buyer consultations, the whole idea is to give you all the information what's what going to happen in a buyer consultation. We can't do this in a couple minutes that we're here, but it does allow you to really know what the market happening, what's happening in the market, what your expenses are going to be, which allows you to enjoy the whole process. Mm -hmm. That's the idea behind it. There you go. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.